What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about the mission in Plankerton called Planky's Go Home. This is to smash three anomalies. We're going to show you what they look like, how to do them. This is not a hard quest if you know what you're looking for. It took me a little bit when I was first coming through Plankerton to figure out how to do this mission. So, I mean, we're going to show you exactly how to do it right now. If you haven't already, make sure you enter in that giveaway. It's for 1,000 V-Bucks. The link for that is in the description below. So make sure you get into in that. There's multiple ways to enter. Enter in as many ways as you can. But let's jump in and let's talk about these anomalies. All right, so right there you see the little blue symbol. I'm sure everybody has seen these throughout their missions and maybe not know what they are. This is for the mission, Plankies Go Home. There, you, these little purple shards, you break them the first time and they split into four different fragments. You have to go ahead and find each fragment. Once you find each fragment, you just have to retrieve it by clicking X. PlayStation is going to be square. It kind of shows you if you look at the... Right there, you see that little purple thing from where they broke up at. It shows you what direction they broke into. So it makes it really easy to find. The last one straight across. Yeah, they made it really easy where you can find the fragments. You just have to follow them. Of where they broke off to. Once you complete it, you get four blue glow and you get a little gift box. So you can just go collect all your blue glow and you will collect your gift box. And that's the first anomaly. So the quest calls for three of them. So after that first one, you just have to go find two more. Like I said, it's a pretty easy mission to complete for Plankerton. I think it does have a level cap on it. I'm not 100% positive. So just make sure you're in the correct level of zone of whatever the quest says. It will say complete in like level 20 or higher zone. So I mean, just make sure you complete it in whatever level or higher. Pretty much anywhere in Plankerton, it should let you complete this mission. Like I said, it's not a hard one to clear. There's another one right here. So once again, you just break it up. You can see where the it splits off at. Go through. You're gonna collect each shard. We'll collect the second piece. And then we're gonna jump right back down here. And look for the other two. See how the little purple thing goes up that way? It shows you exactly where it's at. Get that one. I guess that went all broke into three pieces. So, three to four pieces is what they break into. Usually, from what I've noticed, it's usually four. That was one of the random ones that broke into three. Obviously, we're doing this in Candy Valley. But, like I said, you can do this mission in literally anything as long as you're above that level. That the mission states. So if it says level 26 or plus, you can do it in level 100 zone if you happen to be in that zone. But this is is a Plankerton mission, so more likely you're going to be in low level Plankerton when you get this mission. So here's another one. I said they show up blue like that before you get to them, and then they look purple here. So you're going to break it up. This one's split into four spots. I'm 
messed up that ramp. I need to do a reverse ramp. There we go. And then to find the last one with the purple, it says it's this way. There it is. And click the last one. And that would have completed your mission right there. That's all we got for you guys today. Really simple mission to complete. If you guys need any more help with that mission, let us know in the comment section. Until next time, guys, stay crispy.